Welcome to the Well World. Today we're joined by Brianna, Dana, Brian, and David. How y'all doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I want to start off with a what would Jesus do moment. What else? Yeah. Okay. So, so you spent right? your last dime on some food for you the last tip of the week. Mm -hmm. Okay. You come home and your roommate is sitting there and he done ate it all. Oh. 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 What would you do? What? Well, what catch me I? outside. Uh, how, how about that? that? Oh, man. <laughs> what you going to say? You see that That's not what right I'm going to say. Yeah. What you going to do? do? What you going to do? I'm probably going to flip that whole plate, everything. <laughs> That's going to have it before you do that. You, you know what? You're supposed to turn the other cheek. You said, what would Jesus do and what would I do? You asked me what would I do. That's what I would do. Now, what would Jesus do is probably turn that whole little plate into two more plates. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have food. You know what I'm saying? Well, on today we're talking about we're going to relate Bible stories to today. Okay, oh, that's, that's good. That's a good yeah, that's true. Oh, that's oh. Is Mary and Joseph. <laughs> Mary, and Joseph. Okay. Mary came home. Uh huh. Told Joseph, "Hey, uh huh. I'm pregnant." Joseph, no. Congratulations. That ain't mine. <laughs> how, how would you handle that? If it was me and I told Joseph, "Boo, I'm pregnant. I know we ain't did nothing, but look, God saw fit." That we carry this baby. He talking about it ain't mine. I'm going to be mad. I'm like, so you going to miss out on this blessing? But you're not going to understand. Don't come back with me, gonna, Jesus, But you're not going to understand no, that he I'm might saying. have an issue? I'm hey. going to be that real black mama. Don't come back when he out here healing people. When he's sitting here <laughs> turning water to wine. You don't come back and say that's your son. That's what I'm going to say. Hey. So the nah. question is, how do we get the same patience that these characters, you know, in the Bible, like how can we obtain that same patience and understanding? That, that's going to take a whole That is something yeah. that I would love to have. Especially in this day and time, it's like, are you serious right now? Like, how, yes. do you, how can you say it's Jesus? And but a lot of the things that happen in the Bible, we do today, even though it's differently. So, so yeah, I'll, you know, I'll ask this. As a young lady, Brianna, would you let that get out of the four walls that that's what happened? Um... Would you, would you let your friends know? Hey, I you wouldn't know, go around with that. No, that's I would. Yeah. So you, you, you want to keep that quiet because they're not gonna have that that understanding. Yeah. If so y'all rather came to that understanding. Y'all rather go out and let people think like, oh, well, they out there having sex. Yeah, that's true. And too. that's how she got pregnant. So I mean, the Bible does say, don't let your good be evil spoken yeah, of. So no why Vegas, not tell the man. truth? Come on, David. So I'm trying to figure out. Here's my question <laughs> because I I've been talking as if I was the one that was telling somebody. So I want to ask y'all, once you do believe, say mm -hmm. you believe them, right? Now, how y'all gonna tell your homies? Hey, you know my girl, we ain't did nothing, but. Well. <laughs> what you I, believe? How do you it, deal with that? How, how do you deal with that? My boys today, even the Christian ones, probably would not believe. But I'd like to see how you explain that, though. How would I explain it? Okay, well, um. Okay. Hey, 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 uh, Brian, you ain't hey, gonna yo, believe this, man. man. Hey, dog. So, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, right? What's up, bro? Um, I was with, um, you know. Yeah, your girl. Yeah, yeah what's my up? girl, and, yo, she's pregnant. Oh, but man. we still, we still, no, but we haven't done anything. We're still not married. You know, I know what it looks like. Wow. So, why what, are you looking at me like that? I'm just trying to figure out how she got pregnant. You didn't have anything to do with it. Well, I know, well no. man, she said it was Jesus. We prayed about it, and, and we, we believe this is a, a, a gift from God, directly from him. Bro. So, so now let, let's have this conversation. Right. He, he get off the phone with you. Yeah. He called another friend. He going to call me. Because that's oh, what yeah. we do. Hey, that's, that's what so, we do. That's what we do. That's so a part of it. He said, he said, hey, uh, uh, Brian, uh, you can't believe what this, this what this called to him. <laughs> no, he didn't. He, he said, lying. He said his girl is pregnant. Yeah, hey man, that boy tripping. And, and, and he staying. <laughs> yeah, he, he dumb. He man, he tripping, bro. What's wrong with him? See. So that's now, how the conversation Yeah, that's go. probably how it's going to go. I mean, but if you, I, me personally, if I if I know you and I've known you for a long period of time, I'm going to have to take your word for it. Seriously. Mm -hmm. if, if you're like the man of God you are, and since yeah. I know you, and you, if you told me that, I'd be like, dang, bro, that's one of them, like, I ain't never heard of a miracle like yeah, that, but yeah, dang, yeah. like, really? I think so. It, it's tough. It's well, tough. A lot of people are going to doubt. Well, all right, let, let's get to another Bible story. Okay. All right. Adam and Eve. I mean, right. okay. Adam blames Eve okay. for eating the fruit. Brianna, what do right. you think about that? I think that it is very interesting how um, it was his first. Um, it was his first instinct to blame uh, Eve uh -huh. for it, and so I think that tells us a lot about ourselves. It's about to be a thought. Yeah, because so say so say I give you an instance. He didn't me, take me, credit for me, it. Me and you, we go to the pastor and we sit in counsel. And we say, you know, and we pass like, hey, I see y'all together doing yada, yada, yada. How y'all doing, you know, as a Christian walk? And first words out of my mouth is, you know, she messing me up. She made me fall. <laughs> she you messing know, she, me she up. She was walking around the house in some shorts and told me up. What, were you, what were you doing at the house, though, bro? Right. 
Right. It was her fault. She asked to come over. <laughs> this guy right uh, here. Hey, how are you being the lead? You can. No, I was playing. Go ahead. Why, <laughs> yeah. why don't we just take initiative? Or, you know, take take credit for what. We but would you have a problem with that? He said that it was so a commandment, just, and Eve purposely else. went to Adam and said, "Yo, I had this fruit. Check it out." And it's like, why would you? Why would you do that? That's not cool. Okay. So to no, I'm sorry. To me, you're kind of like. You're kind of making me fall a little bit. It's the same thing if you were to wear something provocative and I'm like, yo, you know, we've been trying to like do this the right way. Mm -hmm. And you're going to wear the, like the, the spandex with the high heels and the, and, wait, and the cleavage wait, showing. Hold on, Brian, really? hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's his weed. You going to smoke it? Like, it's a, it's a little bit, that's you. a little bit different so though. That was a little so, bit different. So, Come on now. So let's get to the story. God told Adam and Eve they can eat from every tree Except but for that one. But. <laughs> now, scholars, like, scholars will try to turn it around and try to say it was Eve's fault because Eve came from Adam. What do you guys think about that? You know, the woman was, you know, she well, came I'm from I'm not going to say it was her fault, but can we at least be real and say that she presented it to him and Adam fell at that point? Yeah. As you can what see, you Marvin, think? what's happening in today's world, like, we not... They don't want to take the blame for anything, and we don't want. All right. To. So All when right. you say they, you kind of pointed at Brian That's as if. Hey, but yeah. you know what? I, I understand. Yeah. And and if God told me something, and you're right, it would be my fault. If if the Lord told me, hey, I don't want you to eat of that. My but wife, my wife comes say, hey, yo, check this out. We should eat it, and I eat it. But I really can't hey, blame her because I knew better. So you're right. I'm gonna take it back. Well. I mean, truth be told, Brianna, if you, if you started dating a young man, and he was like, you know, five years ago I had HIV and I was straight positive. Oh, but God healed me. Yeah. Would you? Show me the receipts. How would you? How would you? How would you handle it? So how would you handle it? The receipts. Would you? Would you be like, praise God, thank yeah. you? Oh, oh I like to hear. We had that would question you, too. You would. I mean, God healed him. You're gonna see Would he? Would he? need to show you proof, or would you believe that? Stand on the word of God and believe with it. Well, first, of all. I would believe them if they told me that they were healed. I would just be happy for them. Like, oh, you no. like if you're if you were sick, oh, and you're healed, no. like, <laughs> I believe it. Dana, Dana, I'm gonna say, boo. Show me the receipts. I need to see the. You know, I need and, to see the record. And so if he came at you with the word, and just hit you up and down with every, no. with every scripture and said you got to have. He didn't have to me. tell you that either. He did not. But, but thank God, God he did. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, how long you been talking to the young lady also? All right, come on. If your fiance, right, right now, when right you now. got home, secrets, yeah. and was like, we need to talk there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Listen, before you walk down this aisle, I want you to know that, you know, I've had an STD for about five. I literally yeah. just got, you know, yeah. delivered. Mm -hmm. You're going to say, babe, no, I'm, it's okay. I'm, let's still walk down this aisle together. No, I'm telling her straight up. I'm be like, look, that's that's some new information that's real. And we need to have a conversation because, like, marriage is real. But do you, you don't need just to see the receipts? Do you need to see proof that she's been here? Honestly, I could take her word. Is she gonna tell me? Oh, well, you're I don't crazy. need. No, 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 no. I'm not saying we're gonna be together still. But that's what I'm. I'm oh, saying. So you gonna break up with her over that? So you don't believe in the miracles? <laughs> that's what's, that's what's wrong with you. Hey, I don't believe in marriage. Thank you for joining us on the well. We'll see you next time. Catch us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And thank you for joining us. Looking for more West Day TV original content? Like and subscribe to make sure you never miss a video.